Just a hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusive Silver Centurion Iron Man. Try and get your Marvel Legends, you can do so. Search your feelings, you know it be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you. Link below. And while you're down there, please go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button as well as a notification bell. And a big thanks to Paul Lutz for finding this out in the wild. Really appreciate it, brother. Thank you so much. And then big thanks to MCU Collector 24 for that connection. Also, man, he's really helped out a lot. Thank you guys. Anyway, on the side right over here, you can see some beautiful artwork from the Silver Centurion Iron Man or of the Silver Centurion Iron Man. And then on the back, nice product shot. Then we have a read up over here in several languages. If you want to read it, go ahead and pause it right now. Then you get Iron Man on the side right over there again and then you get a nice spot varnished red iron man logo on the top not much more at the bottom so let's get to it and crack this thing open <laughs> We've seen these blast effects before and he has two sets of interchangeable hands. One thing that this thing does not come with though is this rocket ship thing that came with the Toy Biz version. I actually did try putting the figure on here and it worked out pretty well. It fits just fine and you can see how close those colors are. I'll do some more comparisons with the Toy Biz version Silver Centurion Iron Man but you can see that we get those same repulsor effects that we'd seen with the 80 years Iron Man figure but we get it in translucent yellow instead of the opaque yellow so that's really neat and you get these blast effects again if you want to port them in like that that works out really well if you want to just use the smaller one right over here which is cool that works out great so yeah a lot of posing options with all of these effects right here and the hands look great my biggest gripe with these hands though is that the repulsor blasting hands do not have a hinge on them oh that's always so frustrating but these are brand new hands and i do like how they are sculpted so that is very cool you can see the fisted hands right over here kind of have this little panel thing on the back of it so that's pretty neat you can see how that comes across right over here that's gotta hurt if you get hit with that <laughs> Now, Iron Man had this armor for three years in the 80s after his break while Rhodey had taken over as being Iron Man. And this brand new armor has new stealth capabilities. It could absorb and redirect energy, a new force field, which actually did drain the suit's power drastically. But he also had pulse bolts, heat lance, improved flight capability, and upgraded repulsors and unibeam. And just to compare this head sculpt right here with the Toy Biz Silver Centurion armor head sculpt or helmet sculpt anyway, see the shell head comparison right over here very similar of course we get much more of a metallic cherry kind of i don't know it's just a much more metallic looking figure with the toy biz version right here uh, with this one it does look a little bit more flat but it still definitely has a metallic shimmer in the plastic and then if you were to go back and look at the prototype shots of the toy biz silver centurion armor iron man it actually kind of looks closer to this color right here so that's kind of a trip rest in peace eddie wires by the way and then you're just looking at the back of the head you can see we don't get too much marbling going on which makes me happy but what doesn't make me happy is this issue with the neck articulation and i'll get into the articulation more in a minute but i do find that there's this heavy gap right over here and if i want him posed properly i find myself having to shift it in a certain way to hide that gap like for flying poses to get him to look up like you're definitely going to have a weird gap over there you could kind of shift back and forth a little bit or try to move it downward but yeah it's always just a little bit irritating sometimes i'm able to work it so that i don't don't see it but yeah a lot of the time it just looks weird seeing him you know with his head tilting forward like that you know so i could avoid seeing that weird gap but anyway looking at the shoulders over here this is great again i love this technology that dwight showed off before the nice clean deco right over here for the unibeam so that's sweet and i love that they actually painted the silver parts right here instead of just using silver plastic unlike the war machine figure and it would have been nice to see the pinless joints on this figure like the war machine so i'm curious to know why we don't see that with this one right here and we do get a lot of reused parts over here but a lot of new you know like this whole upper torso that's all new but these arms are very familiar but then we get these different forearms right over here and a different pelvis piece right here i gotta commend hasbro's job on not too much marbling going on it's like i could see just a little bit right here over the crotch but it's not bad i really love the silver paint on this thing i really wish we'd gotten this kind of silver paint treatment with the war machine figure there's looking at the silver centurion but and then there's looking at that backpack piece looking pretty sweet and then here's looking at the boots nice detail right here i believe these are the same as the 80 years iron man feet are they no they are not they are different feet but are they the same as the war machine feet no they're different feet than the war machine feet so wow yeah new feet right over here all right interesting stuff anyway you do get peg holes at the bottom of the feet and a serial number on the inside of the thigh i wish they could have squeezed that at the bottom of one of these feet right here so i'm not going to be a hasbro apologist over here but i will say that i was able 
able to get this figure into all the poses that I wanted to get him in. Yeah, I have a problem with the neck articulation and that gappage as I complained about already, but I do like that he will look up that far. It's a lot farther than the Toy Biz version's head, which could not look up at all, so you at least get some looking up movement over there, and he will look down very far. Again, not liking that gappage right there. You get side-to-side -side motion, of course, and a great amount of head pivoting right here. The shoulders move up and all the way around. Uh, you can move them outward all the way in. You get a bicep swivel, double jointed elbows. Uh, these fisted hands swivel side to side and hinge up and down. Uh, again, the repulsor blasting hands don't have a hinge. Wish they had a hinge. He has a good ab crunch forward, ab crunch back, waist swivel, hips move outward that far. He'll kick forward, back a tiny bit, upper thigh cut, double jointed knees. Wish he had boot rotation, no boot rotation. Ankles move down, they move up, and he does have beautiful ankle pivot. Now to measure out this Silver Centurion Iron Man figure, you can see that he is standing just under seven inches tall, which is pretty tall for a Marvel legend, right? And then for a Silver Centurion Iron Man figure comparison, we have the Toy Biz version next to the Hasbro version right here. And out of the two of these, I gotta say, I like the Hasbro version more, even though I really love this metallic red paint. I wish we'd gotten more of a metallic red paint for this guy right here. It would have been nice, but at the same time, I do like this figure a lot. Oh, and one bonus thing about this guy is that you could remove the face plate. Thank you, Dave Cortez, for that. So that's kind of cool. Uh, you can't really get a Tony Stark head sculpt on here. I did try popping on the 80 years Tony Stark head and it will not fit on that ball peg. Hey, that rhymes. And then here's the Silver Centurion Iron Man figure next to our 80 years Iron Man and our deluxe war machine. And I'm so happy that we have these versions of these figures. I love these body molds or the body mold that they're using for them. Ah, it's just spectacular. Very, very happy with these brand new Iron Man figures. And then here's Silver Centurion Iron Man next to the Iron Monger build a figure. Thanks again, Mr. Phils for helping me snag that. And I am so happy to have these two side by side. I've been wanting to have a new Silver Centurion Iron Man figure to fight Iron Monger over here. By the way, if you guys didn't realize this, that the Iron Man one movie storyline is loosely based off of the storyline when Tony Stark comes back as Iron Man and Obadiah Stane right here is the main antagonist. And then here's the Silver Centurion Iron Man next to the other West Coast Avengers that appeared on the cover of West Coast Avengers number one. We have Hawkeye, Mockingbird, Wonder Man, and Tigra. Really hope we get a new Tigra figure like with this design right over here. I'm kind of hoping we get a new Mockingbird with the wizard sleeves. I don't know why I kind of want to see that, but yeah, I'd like to have that version. And then here's the Silver Centurion Iron Man next to your average six inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Badass Spider-Man. Whoa, that's some pretty awesome armor you got there. Hey, I got this new badass suit. Maybe we could be friends. <sighs> Why does this always happen? <laughs> So I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you hit that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. And a big thank you to all these people over here that go the extra mile to support what I do here on YouTube. If you're interested in participating, check the link below. This figure is a lot of fun. I am so happy to have it. Again, I had mentioned before, this is the first time, or this is the first armor I had ever seen Iron Man in. So I was just really stoked to get it. And I gotta say, it's a very fun figure to have. I really like posing it around. The whole neck head issue, it's bothersome, man. It's one of those things that's there. I wish we'd gotten boots that had articulation. So I have gripes with the figure. Yeah, but I really like it a lot. It makes me really happy to have both arms just thrown forward like this. So I haven't been able to do that. I just can't ever really remember a time where I was able to get an Iron Man figure posed just like this with big shoulder pads and everything, you know? So that part of it just makes me really happy. And I like the accessories. I like how it looks, man. At the price point of around 25 bucks, I'm gonna give this Silver Centurion Iron Man figure a sun rating of, I love it. And I'd like to know what you guys think. So please don't forget to let me know in the comment section below. If you want to see the latest in Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And don't forget to follow me over on the social media on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and Stardust. And I will catch you guys later. Peace! Sharp Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.